don't even realize you're exercising. I think there's a lot of people who like to do this. But they're just afraid to try. My balance is better. My uh, flexibility is better. Sounds, everybody. I'm Sue Forrester, and I am the teacher, choreographer, director of this lovely group of people. I'm in the mid-60s, and I'm the youngest, and I don't want to tell you who the oldest is. Dorothy was our oldest student, and Dorothy, I think, was 92. But she danced right up until just a couple months before she passed. We're called the Time Steppers. They organized in 1990. I'm the third teacher. And the best part is that when they do performances, they share their love of dance with the community. They do things at senior homes and go to special Alzheimer's centers and just delight people with their love of dance. Their joy on their faces communicates to the audience. Bob Husser. How long have you been with the group? Uh, I started with the, in 96. The way I got started, some girls that worked for me in the office gave me tap dance lessons. <laughs> <laughs> How good do you think you are? Average. Does it matter? No. <laughs> sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm not. My name is Gladie Manley. You can play all kinds of games with your mind, and you can become the most famous dancer in the world in your mind. You can be in those, those 1940s movies where Ginger Rogers is tap dancing with Fred Astaire. You can be anything you want to be in your mind. My name is Pat McIntosh, and I'm Calum Soup. I joined the class when I was 73. <laughs> I always wanted to tap dance. And how old are you now? 79. Sharon Clausen. It's really good exercise, and Sue makes sure that we all warm up and get our body moving so we don't injure ourselves.